they have put out the what you call it lineup for May. And it's pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. There's one particular day that everyone's kind of creaming themselves over. Um, I do like that they do go out of their way to always, I feel like with Bergheim, they go out of their way to kind of have, I think, you know, April and March were two crazy good months in terms of lineups. It was so fucking good. Just this past weekend was obviously the, or just this past week, month was obviously the Sylvester as well in April. But I think all the months have been pretty sick. Um, March especially was really fucking stacked. Loads of great lineups. You got Get F to Girls United, you got Polari Night. Um, yeah, you got the ham, Hammer Nights as well. That was also good. People spoke a lot good about that. You had the Snack Club. You had the um, Oster, um, which is the Easter event that happened at the end of March. And then, of course, April, you've got some banging events also lined up as well. Um, Limousine Dream happening as well there. Uh, you got the Artello Bob Habka returning back with slow motion. Drag Cleaning Night. You got Reef Night also happening, which will be fucking sick. So loads of great nights. But then they've also released um, the lineup for May. And the May event looks good. But again, it's kind of, it's a bit of a heads one. I like that again, like they had two banging nut months and then they kind of slow it down again for May. Maybe ramp up again for June. Or maybe not, because June might be festival season. But regardless, um, the one that really stands out to me date-wise is definitely towards the end. On the 20, was it 20th, right? So on the weekend of the 24th, you got a bite night happening. Um, you got a filmmaker playing. Um, you got new, uh, new, new romancer playing Pablo Bozzi. I'm a big fan of the hacker. So amazing, um, you know, fucking tunes there to be had as well. So I'm definitely looking forward to that one. And obviously, you got Soft Crash as well for your, um, what's your parish, Smith not for your parish. And then, of course, you got the regular club night as well happening on the Saturday, 25th of May which is a really good lineup here. Ben Sims, big up UK legend, Ben Sims stand up. Uh, Bestie Hero also playing, against playing, Jacko Jacko. Um, the legend that is Luke Slater also on that 25th, which I'm also, I'm really considering booking a ticket to go to this one. Um, Panorama Bar, you got Dinky, long time no see Dinky actually. That's a real throwback. John Talibot playing, Mike Starr, House Legend, Nicola and Vlada also playing. So a really good balanced lineup there happening um, for the Friday and the Saturday as well so definitely check that out if you're that way inclined and then other dates here things to check out i guess the soul 10 5 night here is pretty good blue hour uh blue blue hour sorry back to back with philippa pasho that'll be pretty decent to check out um there's a laundrette night happening here um i think laundrette is that is it the night that thing he does with um in israel i'm sure right roy perez so roy perez is playing partok um Kilpatra jones Grace Sands also playing there. The following the following day, this is a really good lineup actually. On the fifth of May, answer code request. Luke Hess, Nick Hopner, Pariah, Steffi, sick lineup. Paramount Bar, you got OK Williams, Radio Slave, Rosses, Simon Caldwell. That's a really fucking good. That's a, actually that's a bit of a sleeper one there. Fifth of fifth of May. So definitely, if you're thinking of dates to go to, I definitely would keep a note on that one. Um, what else do I like on here? Some of the other nights during the week are actually quite good. You've got Eli Escobar playing on the laboratory. That's gonna be fucking good. Manpower and Balkhammer. Hmm. Interesting. Revolting. Look at the flyer as well. Absolutely lovely. Love that. Eli Escobar, Lady Monix, Manpower, and N Balkhammer, which is N Balkhammer is definitely an underrated unofficial resident resident of fucking Berghain in general and laboratory is legitimately one of my favorite um rooms in fucking Berghain. It doesn't get used enough because obviously you use it for the main events but if you haven't been in there i really recommend you check it out um then the 50 this one is a really good one too oh actually no jacket body night um on friday the 10th of may you got cody curry desri and of course honey dijon um, and then the following day you got a deal uh, Blasher and Alats playing who are they've actually been smashing it with the gigs they're everywhere I check on Instagram they're always popping up all over the place so big up them um, you got Maron also playing another appearance from Maron big up Maron um, Yonti also playing there Yonti I think is meant to be um, Roy Perez's partner I think if I'm not mistaken Ace um, Panamabar you got Ace Mo playing Aurora Halal Boris is also there so it, this is another good one Another good lineup is 11th. This is a really good stacked one as well. You got Boris Massimiliano, uh, Massimiliano and Pellegrano playing there. Ryan Elliott, who I'm also a big fan of. Yeah, really good one as well. Um, and then another one that stuck out was this one as well here, actually, um, which is the 18th of May. 
you got Amaral, Ben Clock, DJ Red, Norman Nodge, Jamie Free Two Six in, in playing in Parama Bar or Gazon, Paramida, who I love, said if as D is also amazing. Soundstream, legend Soundstream playing as well there on fucking A Team. So yeah, one for the heads. No a lot a lot of big blockbuster names on the first day got October playing there. So but again, if you're that way inclined, I think this will be I've always said I think personally for me the months after a special event are always the best so they just had the fucking sylvester happening i think this event or you know the april is also kind of stacked i usually think the may or the ones that are a bit quieter are usually a better indication or you better illustration of what bergan's about as a club so you're going to either love it or hate it but it's probably best to go outside of a special event number one the queues won't be as long it won't be as busy um it'll be quite quite easier to get in sometimes because these are like for the heads events and not like big names so you won't have a lot of tons of tourists flying all over the place coming to attend them it'll be a lot of quote unquote regulars and locals um and again like i said it'll be a better way to kind of get an understanding of whether you like the place or not because it's going to be just like a regular club night as opposed to a regular you know club night you know event month whatever as opposed to like a crazy let's go wild project x type of affair when it's a special event and there's queues because like i said you know i've been to bergheim before you know regrettably so and ashamedly so where i've queued outside for four hours during a special event sick don't get me wrong special events are really good i think for tourists because you get a chance to see a ton of people um you know playing all at once and you know you get loads of bang for your money bang for buck bang for your money whatever because you get to see a lot of people like the recent one in october no, so the recent Easter one at the end of March, right? Look at that lineup. You got Jimmy Jules, aim um back to back with aim, you know, DJ Russ, Steffi, holographic, um, you know, Palms Tracks, last I Taylor Johnson playing, LOL Snake, Honey Dijon, like loads of people. So for the tourists, these special events are good, but they're really busy. You know, that's the only problem. So you have to queue a lot of really long, loads of people queue cutting, the toilet queues inside are fucking crazy. It can be a bit nuts, but it's a good chance to see it really, you know at his full turn up self but personally i prefer the much quieter months because they're easier to get in number one and also it's just a nicer vibe because it's just and it's a more diverse crowd different ages and shit it's not just all young techno cool freak kids in there i personally like him it's a bit quiet so may's looking good i've got my eye personally on the 25th and 24th and 25th so if you don't see me for that weekend streaming you know where i'm gonna be at if you don't see me for that weekend streaming you know where i'm gonna be at you know it don't cry don't complain you know the vibes you know the blood clot freaking vibes